Hello, today we're going to talk about the gods and goddesses of Norse mythology. As some of you may be familiar with some of the names like Odin and Thor and Loki, Asgard and the Bifrost from the movie Thor and the comic book. But Thor and Odin and all the rest of the Norse gods were around thousands of years before Marvel Comics. So Norse mythology is what the Germanic people of Scandinavia created and believed in. Centuries later, the Scandinavian people would be known as the Vikings, and they lived in the countries of Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and Iceland. The Scandinavians, or Vikings, believed that before the beginning of time, there was a bottomless abyss uh, that separated two lands, a land of icy, ice and frost and a land of blazing fire. Now, over time, these two lands rose in power and eventually they would clash or collide. And when that happened, the fire melted the ice and created water droplets. Now, these water droplets were the creation of life. Our first life creation from the water droplets was a giant named Ymir. And over time, there would be many more giants. Uh, for instance, Besla. And she is the mother to Odin and his two brothers, V and Vili. Now, sadly, Ymir, our first giant, was captured by Odin and his brothers. But Vili, V and Odin used all of Ymir's body to create the mythological universe of the Norse gods. They used his bones and his skin, his hair, his eyes. They even used his brain and his skull. So Ymir, our first life creation, is forever a part of the Norse gods universe. So Asgard was one of the nine worlds created by Odin and his brothers. And all over Asgard, um, like you see behind me, there are temples and halls and great palaces dedicated to these gods. And Odin sits at the most grandest palace of them all, the Great Hall. Um, also, all around Asgard is a wall, and there's only one entrance into Asgard, and that is the Bifrost, or the Rainbow Bridge, and that is protected by the god Hymdal. So there are many gods and goddesses, but we will only talk about a few, and our first one is Odin. Odin is the supreme deity of Norse mythology. He is the greatest among all the gods. He's the awe-inspiring ruler of Asgard, the Viking god who sacrificed one eye to acquire knowledge and wisdom. He is the god of war, poetry, knowledge, and magic. Frigg is Odin's wife. She's the goddess of beauty, love, fertility, and fate. She's the mighty queen of Asgard, and she's the promoter of marriage and fertility. In Icelandic story, she's portrayed as a loving, weeping mother. So next is Thor. Thor is uh, Odin's most uh, widely known son, and he's the protector of all humanity. He's the powerful god of thunder who yields his uh, hammer, Molinor. Among the Norse gods, he's known for his bravery and strength and healing powers and righteousness. So then we also have uh, Loki. Loki's a mischievous god. He's the trickster god who can shape shift and can take up animalistic forms like a bear. Um, he was born to two giants, uh, like Odin was born of a giant, and making him Thor's stepbrother. Although in some stories, uh, Loki is actually Odin's brother, but either way, he's a trickster. Um, then we have Freya. Freya is the most beautiful of all the goddesses in Norse mythology, and she is um, associated with the same qualities as Frigg, a love and beauty, and she's also, um, she's always shown on a chariot with, uh, but with two cats pulling the chariot. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the Norse mythology. Now we have three crafts for you to do. I am wearing Frigg or Freya's flower headband. You can also make a helmet for Thor, or you can make a helmet for Loki. Now all the supplies and directions that you would need are listed below, and you may also pick up a craft packet at our Monday Morning Farmer's Market here at the library. Thank you, bye.